Up next, we have our honorable event chief guest, Mr. Ahmad El Ragi, Senior Advisor, International Telecommunication Union Arab, also known as ITU Arab, who will give his gracious opening speech to the KSA and GCC leaders, a small introduction of Ahmed, dear participant. Uh, Ahmed is responsible for managing the full life cycle of assigned regional initiatives and the operational plan in the Arab region with the aim to strengthen ITU's role and position within the UN Sustainable Development Group. Prior to joining ITU Arab, he held the position of International Policy Executive Director at the National Telecom Regulatory Authority of Egypt. Ahmed, welcome. And Ahmed will give his keynote speech on cybersecurity, a pillar of our digital world. The stage is all yours, uh, Ahmed. Thank you a lot, Bridget. Uh, I hope, uh, first of all, my voice is clear. Yes, your voice is clear. Your camera you. clarity is clear. Thank you. Thank you a lot. And I uh, would like to thank Mr. Nagid Shudri for his excellent, uh, insightful uh, remarks. And uh, uh, my pleasure uh, to deliver this key note address today in behalf of Mr. Adam Darwish, uh, the IQ Regional Director for the Arab region. Really, he would like to be with us today, but uh, unfortunately, due, due to, to other commitment, he couldn't be with us. Uh, and also, I would like to thank uh, our uh, organizer and uh, co-experts for inviting ITU and for the excellent uh, organization of the event. Of the event. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished uh, guests, uh, as all new, uh, as all know, COVID-19 has thrown a spotlight on connectivity and the need for resilient digital infrastructure. It has been an accelerant for digital transformation. Digital is the future of development. It cuts across every sector of economy, and we must make sure it, it is secure. Many countries that have embarrassed the digital transformation journey are launching strategies and initiatives to improve connectivity, leverage the benefit of the ICT, and increase efficiency. Today, we find ourselves at critical point trying to leverage the transformational power of ICT for economic growth and social development, while at the same time rapidly evolving cyber risks threaten the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of ICT infrastructure and services, people's trust and confidence in the use of ICT are eroding due to the cyber insecurity. These concerns have certainly been highlighted during the COVID-19 pandemic. We can notice that cybercrime could cost the world more than 10 trillion, 10 trillion US dollar a year by 2025, which could re represent the greatest transfer of economic wealth in the history. Financial institutes, tech companies, government agencies, and just about every other sector are investing in cybersecurity infrastructure to protect their business practices and the millions of customers that trust them with their data. I would like to share with you a few slides. If you allow me to do that. Is the slides clear in the screen? Uh, yes, but uh, I request you, Ahmed, to please play it in the uh, presentation mode. Uh, yeah, or maybe the slide share mode. Let me try that. Still not in the presentation mode? Yes, it is in presentation mode. Yes. Perfect. Uh, I would like to share with you today the cyber priority, cybersecurity priority areas that could support the development of cybersecurity in global level and even regional and national level. The first priority area uh, to promote the development of national cybersecurity strategy. Uh, from our perspective, uh, national cybersecurity strategy are so important, and it is a point that was well noted in the UNSG Digital Cooperation Roadmap launched earlier promoting digital trust, security, and stability. To reap the benefit and managing the challenges of digitization, countries need 
the, to frame the creation of ICT enabled infrastructure within a comprehensive national cybersecurity strategy. These yeah. Strategy. Ahmed, uh, could you please cross off the uh, shortcuts? I think there is some uh, shortcuts. No, no. Just Sorry. three. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, no. Don't worry. Uh, 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 for for um, in September 2020, I'm working together with 20 international partner from uh, the public uh, and private and uh, all the stakeholder. Uh, 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 academia, civil society, we are having started the process to update the second edition of the guide to developing a national cybersecurity strategy. Uh, also, it will be noted that in 2018, only 76 countries had adopted a national cybersecurity strategy. Most recent data show that about 120 countries have those strategies in place or under development. Uh, the second priority area they would like to share with you, to share with you, try to the slides, is the cyber capacity development. Uh, at ITU, we engage in ongoing cyber security project activity and regular interaction in many in many countries. These activities mm, these activities aim to incite the strategic reflection into national cybersecurity activities and outcome, including support to national policymakers to help them to develop an establishment of national cybersecurity, especially during the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, it's promoted to us to further burden the initial vision and reach our national cybersecurity support activities to include digital training and formative activity on cybersecurity government at the national level. Uh, to improve readiness and uh, instant response capabilities of developing countries, we conduct annual cyber drill exercise and technical training. We also try to help countries develop similar capabilities at national level when possible. And allow me to invite all experts in our summit to uh, participate in the coming global cyber drill activity, which will uh, to take place next September. And you can find all relevant data and uh, uh, dates in the ITU website on this regard. The third priority on is the cyber inclusion. Uh, the need for cybersecurity professionals remain high. And by 2021, the number of unfulfilled cybersecurity position will be about 4 million. This data uh, will take us to the need for about increase of about 150% of the workforce in this domain. For structural, such a structural change, the solution lie to fulfill this gap is to include the communities such as women and young people. I also take this opportunity to highlight the work we are doing in the domain of cybersecurity inclusion to mitigate the online harms, especially for children and youth. ITU launched the new child, child online protection guidelines earlier this year. These guidelines are tailored for four key audience, children, parents, uh, educators, industry, and policymakers. For each of these audience, the guidelines are meant to act as blueprint, which can be adopted and used in a way this is consistent with the national and local customs and law, and address issues that might affect all children and young people. The fourth area is the engagement and awareness. For this area, I too developed the Global Cybersecurity Index as trusted reference that measure commitment of government of countries and government to the cybersecurity at a global level to raise awareness of the importance and different dimension of, of this issue. Each country level of development engagement is assessed along five pillars: legal, technical, organizational and capacity development and cooperation and level. Here I would like to highlight Saudi Arabia achievement to jump up 11 places 
from 2018 to be ranked second in the world among countries committed to the cybersecurity in the latest GCI 2020. Certainly, the experience accumulated in countries such as Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are important to share practically, practically with countries with similar context in the region and beyond. We in the ITU look forward to help and share this good experience and serve as a platform for air stakeholders to share similar experiences. My hope is that we will use the critical moment in, in, in the history to strengthen collaboration and, co and coordination nationally, regionally, and internationally. Public and private sector together, certainly the time can, couldn't come to more opportunity for all relevant stakeholders to collaborate. Particularly, we approach the next year where ITU will organize three major global events. And by June 2022, ITU will hold the World Development Conference, an opportunity to mobilize a global community around power of digital transformation and reshape the connectivity and agenda to achieve the SDG. I take this opportunity to call upon all stakeholders to take an active part in this preparation for this conference, giving you the chance to shape set of regional priority, including cyber security. In conclusion, I would like to thank KSA uh, HyperCloud for inviting ITU for this summit and, and wish you all participants and expert fruitful discussion. And I lovely will be uh, enjoying the continue the, the day with you for this session. Thank you a lot, uh, Bridget, and the floor is yours. Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Ahmad El Ragi, for giving us your precious time uh, to share your valuable insight, to share your knowledge on uh, cybersecurity. And uh, you know, it's really great to have ITU with us. They always support us. Uh, whatever events we do, we reach out to them. They always support us, ITU Arab, and we are truly humbled. Uh, to see your support towards our uh, summits and inshallah future summits also itu will be uh, posted and thank you once again for your time sir and enjoy your rest of the day <laughs>